Taylor Richardson is on a mission that started with a dream. I just thought I was a girl that wanted to go to space. Um, just my drawings. Have but the 17 year old says it's hard for some to imagine that room. she could. Did you ever feel like your interest in science was being pushed aside? But there was a lot of people who looked down on me and always thought I couldn't do it. Hey, Jameson will be making her first trip in space today. But history taught her a different lesson. In 1992, Dr. Mae Jemison stepped into the record books as the first African-American woman in space aboard the space shuttle Endeavor. I was thinking about that little girl I had been on the south side of Chicago who just assumed that she would go into space. Like Taylor, she defied expectations. For nearly 30 years, Dr. Jemison has worked teaching, lecturing, and writing to level the playing field for African-American women in science programs. It's critical because we need all hands on deck, right? Since her flight nearly 29 years ago, 11 other African-Americans have flown into space. Currently, of 47 active astronauts, three are African-American women. Taylor is doing her part to build those numbers. As a speaker and activist, she's raised money for books and sent kids to movies that showcased African-American scientists. If a kid can see it, they can be it. What I'm interested in is that women, people of color, are able to bring their perspectives. Taylor, do you feel that the sky is the limit for you? Definitely. The universe, the sky. I feel like your <laughs> mind is the limit. You can get anywhere with whatever you think. Charting a course to expand what's possible on Earth and beyond. Rahima Ellis, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.